Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys through a typical day in the life of an entrepreneur. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Melissa. I make all kinds of videos about lifestyle, productivity, entrepreneurship. I own an online boutique called Sunstyled. And then of course I also make YouTube videos and I'm working on something really big behind the scenes right now that I can't quite tell you guys yet, but you already know it's in the works. I started this vlog off a little bit later than I had intentionally planned to. But most of you guys already know my morning routine and it can be a bit repetitive to be honest with you so I felt like I just wanted to start this one later but I go to the gym in the mornings I worked out legs today came back showered changed ate breakfast and now I'm kind of ready to start my day um, I already packed orders so when I head out of here I am gonna stop at the post office and then of course we're gonna go grab Starbucks and then I'm gonna be heading to my co-working space I think I told you guys in my other vlog that I recently got a co-working space so it's been really nice to just get out of my house and go get some work done in a professional setting so so that is what I'm heading to do now, but I thought I would do a quick little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this black button up blouse that is actually from my boutique, Sunstyled, and I'll link it. This little gold coin necklace is from Kendra Scott. These green denim shorts are from Boohoo, and then I'm wearing my sandals that are from Target. Before I head out, I wanna show you guys my new work bag. This is the first time I've got a new backpack since I was in college. I felt like I really needed a bag now that I've been going to this co-working space a lot. It's easier to carry a backpack with everything that I need versus what I was carrying before, which was throwing everything into my Neverfull and it would just get really heavy and not very organized. So in here, this is a Vera Bradley backpack, by the way, it's the campus backpack and I will link it if I can find it, although this color is very hard to find. So it has a special spot back here for like my laptop and my iPad. And then in this main compartment, I have like my planner, my binder, chargers, and a notebook, everything like that. Oh, and then I have to show you guys, look at this really cute little pencil bag that I found at Target the other day. Like how cute is this? Don't mind the random chocolate in there. Somebody gave me that when I was at the co-working space and I never ate it. So I just put it in my pencil bag. And then in here, it's got like all this extra storage. My little travel mouse, face mask. There's so much storage. I don't even think I have anything in this one. But as you guys can see, it's a lot easier for me to be organized with a backpack. Hey guys, I'm interrupting the vlog really quick to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I worked with them before and you guys know I love their platform. It is the coolest online learning community where you can take a class on pretty much anything you can think of. So if you're someone who's a lifelong learner and you like to continue learning about different things, for me, I have so much to learn about marketing. You guys know that's not what I went to school for. And yet somehow I am now a business owner. So Skillshare is such an awesome platform to learn about social media marketing, photography, and just all things entrepreneurship to help me further my career. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and an online class project. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes Classes, with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of other people taking the class. So anytime you go on Skillshare, you can see how many students are currently enrolled in the class as well as feedback. There's discussion boards and a whole summary about every class you can find out if it's the right one for you. One class that I'm currently in the middle of taking right now is Entrepreneur Hustle from Business Plan to Real Success. You guys know I'm working on something really huge behind the scenes right now. So taking classes like this really gets me excited and teaches me the necessary things I need to start my business as well as to grow the new thing that I'm working on. Skillshare was made specifically for learning, so there's never any ads, and they're always launching more premium classes. And the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description are gonna get a free trial of premium memberships. You can explore all of the classes on Skillshare that your heart desires. And thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring. Let's get back to the video. Dropped off the packages. Now I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru about to grab my pumpkin spice. It's the best time of the year officially. Today's day three of my pumpkin drink, and I just feel myself getting happier because tis the season. What I appreciate most about the pumpkin spice season is how beautiful this orange colored coffee is. So festive and it tastes amazing. Normally at the co-working space, I'm in like the public area at just one of the tables and there's other people working out there. But today I knew that I was vlogging. I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about like everything that I'm working on. So I booked a conference room. They have a bunch of conference rooms here and you can book them like different hours throughout the month. So I booked one for today for a few hours so I could get some work done, but then also be able to film without like interrupting anyone who's working out there in the public space. So here's what the conference room looks like. I think I'm gonna just set up right here.
So here is what my little work setup looks like. The first thing that I usually do is take a look at my planner to see what I have to do for today. I usually just write like major things on here and then I obviously use this side as a to-do list, but any like tasks or anything that I'm working on, I typically use Google Calendar and I am starting to get into Notion, but I'm not gonna show you what it looks like right now because it's an absolute disaster. I'm working on building a dashboard in Notion so that I can use it for business planning as well as like my personal life and sponsored YouTube videos and Instagram blog content, all of that. But this is kind of what my Google Calendar looks like. I'm gonna be doing a whole video very soon on how I use Google Calendar because it's honestly changed my life using Google Calendar to schedule everything out. And I of course wanna show you guys how I customize everything. So we'll get into that in another video. Tomorrow I have a new drop coming to the website. So I'm just kind of planning out what inventory is gonna go live. Unfortunately, it was a chaotic week and I wasn't able to meet with any of the models. So we're gonna have to do like a last minute shoot, just me modeling, which I don't mind modeling, but I have to like set everything up, my whole backdrop, I have to, set up my tripod. Obviously I have to use a clicker. It's definitely a lot more time consuming versus me just being the photographer and bringing outfits and having my models do it. It's just been a really, really busy chaotic week and I just didn't have time to meet with the models and our schedules just didn't coordinate. So when all else fails, you just have to be the model yourself. So we'll be doing that later when I get home. So I'm just kind of planning out these outfits. I also have to do shipping weights and that stuff later. It's gonna be a relatively small drop. Honestly, it's just gonna be like three new things. I have so much new inventory in my garage right now, but it's all like fall stuff. I ordered well in advance this year. I was actually prepared unlike last year. I feel like I waited too late and everything was sold out or back ordered and this time I ordered it like early August, end of July and so stuff is still coming in for fall and that's like my favorite part about running the online boutique is like the season of fall. It's just the funnest to shop for. But here's a sneak peek at one of the new tops that's coming tomorrow that I'm gonna have to model when I get home. It's a really, really cute crop top and it has like this tie detail and the ruching and bell sleeves. I'm obsessed with it. And then I also ordered these body suits in this nude color. These took forever to come in. They were on back order for a while, but this is just such a good basic, a good layering piece to transition into the fall. I have an inventory expense sheet that I use um, just for like all of my inventory inventory expenses where I keep track of like the vendor, how many of each piece I ordered, um, the total amount that I spent, including the shipping costs from the vendor, price per unit, selling price, and shipping weight, but I don't have the shipping weight yet. Obviously, I'll be able to do that when I get home, but right now I'm just gonna go into my product expense sheet. And I will say that even though using Google Sheets for this kind of stuff isn't bad, I think that I'm going to pretty soon invest in QuickBooks because it's just gonna be a lot easier for me to keep track of this, and I feel like it'll be more professional and definitely easier for my CPA at the end of the year. Um, but anyway, right now I just use Google Sheets. some of this new inventory from one of my favorite vendors and oh my gosh there are so many cute things for fall that I can't recommend enough if you're a small business owner, most people already use it, is Canva. It's so easy to create really aesthetically pleasing graphics for your website, social media, and I even use mine to create email templates. So I'm just creating an email template for the new arrivals dropping tomorrow, and then I'm also gonna go ahead and create a couple of templates to share on Instagram stories of the new arrivals, but I'm gonna leave these just blank because I haven't even taken pictures of the items yet. Since 
this drop of inventory is pretty small tomorrow. I want it to include a second page in the email newsletter with a little countdown of the upcoming holidays because I'm just super excited and pumped for fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween, Christmas. So I thought it'd be like cute to put this in there. And I really hope everyone who gets the SunStyle emails is excited when they see this. One of the last things I wanna work on while I'm here is my Pinterest marketing. This is something that's so important for online businesses. Pinterest is just a great way to get traffic to your website. So I'm really trying to utilize it more. I use Tailwind to schedule pins and I'll show you guys. This is like my outfit inspo pin. So a lot of these are things that come from the boutique. So I'm just really trying to get better about sharing things so that they can circulate Pinterest and people can just like click on it and say, oh, I really like this top. And then when they click on it, it brings them right here where they can buy it. So it's honestly perfect. I also really like using Tailwind because they have great insights. So you can already see since I've been using the platform, my growth in followers, because I've been on Pinterest a lot, like every single day, just trying to market my website. So I'm just gonna spend some time on Pinterest, creating pins, repinning, and trying to get my website out there a little bit more. Wish me the best of luck. So much done as I always do whenever I come here. It was the best decision ever joining a co working space. It is so freaking bright and hot. It's like I'm over here talking about how excited I am for fall and I'm drinking my pumpkin spice and it's like literally 100 degrees outside. <laughs> and now I'm at Sephora. Really glad I remembered because I almost forgot that I needed to stop at Sephora because I need to do a really quick exchange. You guys, I think I mentioned this before, that I love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. It's like my favorite thing to apply before I put my makeup on. It just makes my skin really glowy and super hydrated. Sometimes I find that foundation dries my face out, so I really like to like have a nice you know, hydrating base before I put foundation on. And for whatever dumb reason earlier this week when I went to go restock, on it I was like oh the water cream I've never tried that it's like the other one that they have and I got it and I don't like it not that anything's wrong with it it's just not as good as the dewy skin cream so I'm really quick gonna go in there and exchange this out and then while I'm in there I'm gonna grab concealer and I need to get a new bronzer right now I use the Clinique like stick cream bronzer but I want to get a different one that's another like stick I like the stick ones I just I'm all out of it it's like a twist top one and it's at the very last teeny bit like I'm starting to scratch my face when I go to apply it so I'm also gonna grab that I had a 20% off coupon that I wanted to use. Really quick from Sephora, grab the Dewy Skin Cream, another concealer, and then two new products that I wanted to try out. The first one is the Cream Blush from Fenty Beauty, and then the other one is the Cream Bronzer. This is the Matte Stick, because I love Rihanna's brand. I've not found anything from her line that I don't absolutely love. So that's from Sephora. And then uh, Ulta, I'm an idiot. I meant to put one of these back. I was like between which one of these to get for the cream blush because I don't usually use cream blush. I use the NARS orgasm like powder one. So I wanted to get a different brush that was like more appropriate for cream. And I was between these two. This is like a Morphe one that was only like 12 bucks. And then this It Cosmetics one was 24. And my dumb self forgot to put one of them back. So I literally bought both. Also grabbed another beauty blender, some Lash Sensational mascara. And then I just stocked up on shampoo and conditioner, if anyone cares. I use Biolage Hydrosource. Okay, I'm about to set up my backdrop and my lighting kit, and you guys are about to quickly see why I do not like modeling for myself anymore now that I have to do it on my own because my photographer moved. Because doing it with the backdrop in my tiny office is very difficult, so I'm gonna like set it up against this very small amount of wall space after I move my mirror, and it's just like super cramped. <laughs> Sneaking out at night Keep wishing you would kiss me under city lights I know you feel it every time I look at you I feel about you Wish me the best of luck I'm gonna win your love Coming to get you Dying to feel your touch Wish me the best of luck Coming to get you Wish me the best of luck 
laptop is set up. I'm using my Canon M6 because the lens on this is 15 45 instead of my 50 millimeter one, which is super zoomed in and it's difficult because I don't have a lot of space in here. So I'm just using this one. It's obviously not as good of quality, but that's okay. Also the screen flips up on this one, which is inconvenient because of my timer. Whatever, we're just making the most of it. I gotta get it done, so. Yeah, this is my little setup and now I'm gonna take some pictures. Here are the three things we're shooting. I actually don't have that bodysuit in yet that I thought I had. I was looking at the wrong one that's already on my website. I have another neutral one that's long sleeve coming, um, but that's probably gonna be like next week or the week after that. So these are the ones that I'm going to model right now. It's way later now, I am making dinner. Chad just got home and I'm just making a chicken stir fry. It's like a frozen dish because I'm lazy and I worked all day long. I'm honestly exhausted. I finished with all the pictures and put all of the photography equipment away, which took a while, cleaned up my office, and now I just have to edit this vlog so that I can get it up for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know, feedback in the comments if you guys like seeing the entrepreneurship stuff, if you like seeing more like in-depth behind the scenes of what it's like running the online boutique. I tried to share a lot more than I usually do in vlogs today, so. Let me know what you think. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.